Are you curious about the history and stories of West Coast hip hop? Well, here it is. My name came from another guy. Me and him have the same real name. His name is Eric. My name is Eric. Mm -hmm. um, he used to run with this one guy that I spoke about in the last interview named Mad. Yeah. Mad was like an inspiration to a lot of kids, in, well, a lot of young graffiti artists in the inner city. And uh, Big Create was his writing partner. And I used to, I didn't know what his name even said. I thought it said, I don't know what I thought it said. I don't know what I thought C R E. I was like, why is this dude putting numbers with his name? Because that was rare back in the day. Oh, you okay. see a number next to some letters. It was like, why okay. is he putting numbers next to letters? So mm -hmm. one day, because I used, you know, I'm an old school B boy. So me and my boy, we used to sneak inside the school uh, uh, when at recess time with nutrition. Instead of us being outside with the rest of the kids, we would be sneaking in the building to practice our routines inside the building. So we could practice our head spins and our b boy moves. So we what we broke well, I don't say we broke into the building. We snuck into the building. <laughs> they can switch my words around. We snuck yeah. into the building. And uh my boy, Mad and them wrote all over the walls. And he said, Hey man, I finally figured out what that says. He said, That says create. I'm like, no that don't. I like man create is spelled C R E A T E. He said, No, nah, dummy, C R E A. I said, man, that don't say create food. And he said, man, come here, man, let me show you. Create. I said, oh, damn, you're right. Man, ever since he broke that down to me and showed me how to read it, mm -hmm. I ain't going to lie. I was jocking, like, oh, that's hard. Like, I ain't never seen or heard nothing like that. Mm -hmm. So when I found out who it was, it was the dude that used to call me a biter. I wasn't no biter, but because me and him had the same name, he used to, like, make fun of me every day at school. What's up, man? You a biter. You copying my name. And he'd just be playing with me. And I used to say, you a biter, fool. <laughs> I said, you a biter. And one day he pulled me to the side after nutrition. We all was going to third period. He said, hey, little homie, come here for a minute. He said something about you, man. I like your style. He said, you real cool. He said, man, he said, let me ask you a question. Would you like to be a little creative from this day on? I said, yeah. Anything that was connected with Matt <laughs> at that time. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we, I wanted to ride that wave too, you know. I'm like, yeah. I said, I would love to be Lil Create. He said, from this day forth, man, he said, you create junior, create number two, or Lil Create. I said, okay, cool, thank you. And I got all excited. I went around the campus telling all my homies, I'm Lil Create, I'm Lil Create. And I started writing it everywhere. They were like, man, get off his jock, man, stop jocking, man. <laughs> and I felt like a little king and stuff, boy. I'm like, y'all little create, I'm little create, man. I felt so special. And it mm -hmm. went to my head, you know what I'm saying, at that time as I was 13, 14 years old. And uh, I became humble after a while because I ran with top-notch people back then that was ahead of their times. And, mm -hmm. and the people that was not running with them was uh, sort of late bloomers with style. So when I develop, a lot of people used to give me credit for doing a lot of good work all the time because we was very critical when we was coming up. Like I said, and I think in the first interview, if we mm -hmm. did whack stuff, people would check us quickly. Oh, man, get that garbage up out of here, man. That's whack. Mm -hmm. And I never liked to hear that when nobody said that about me. So since I didn't like to hear that, that made me stay on, that made me stay on point and be sharp. I'm like, hell no, I don't want nobody calling me whack. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So everything I did I always had to have that good look to it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And that's where I developed that kind of attitude. So anything people see me do to this very day mm -hmm. is quality. Everything has that look to it. Like, mm -hmm. I kid you not, people always give me kind of say, oh, man, I can see your stuff a mile away. I know it's you. I say, how you know it's me? They say, man, that shit look fresh. You got style in it. Super crispy and clean with no caffeine. Mm -hmm. I said, damn, that's mm -hmm. a compliment. I had people in different states while I was painting walk up to me. They tapped me, uh, excuse me, uh, I don't mean to bother you. 
is your name Create? And I'm like, yeah. They, oh, man, can I take a picture with you, man? Can you sign my book? And I, I say this in a humble way. Like, I'm not arrogant about it or, or cocky about it. Like, but that's an honor. Like, I feel like how I feel like the people I look up to. Because there's people mm-hmm. that I look up to that I did that with. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. I was like, oh, shit, this is so-and-so. Oh, what's up, man? How you doing, man? Like, I didn't do it like that, but I was on some old, like, whoa. I'm sitting, mm-hmm. Like, I remember the first time I met Case 2 for the first time from New York mm-hmm. City. Mm-hmm. And he sat next to me, and, and he looked at my artwork. I was quiet. I didn't know what to say, really. I mean, I knew what to say, but I didn't want to be jocking. And then I didn't want to seem like like I was a toy either, That which is a toy is what they call a beginner. Because okay. I'm not a toy at the time, but I'm sitting next to the guy who inspired me. So I'm sitting there like, ooh, man, I had to shake his hand and I had to listen. I can't act like I was Mr. Know-it-all. I had to humble mm-hmm. myself like, man, like, oh, I'm sitting next to the legend. I got a chance to meet Phase 2 from New York City. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I got a chance to walk around with old school days from New York, Mo 2 from France. Uh, uh, scheme from New York. Like, that was one of my influences, one of my idols where I looked up to where, man, the first time I met Scheme, I remember I, I was at a, uh, uh, we was in the, actually we was in the show together, but we was there in San Francisco and we was, um, we was all prepping for the show, like, like a couple of days before the show started. And, uh, I remember I was walking down the stairs and he was coming up into the building. And he and we looked at each other. He said hey, he was just regular. Hey, what's up, bro? And I was like, in my, I knew who he was. And I was real calm. I was like, hey, what's up? And soon I went out the door. I was like, oh shit! I was all excited. Oh, he's like a little kid. Mm-hmm. 